In this lesson, you're going to test out using Pickle on a custom defined class. So here I've got a text editor and a terminal open, and the first thing I'm going to do is create a new virtual environment. Pickle is built into Python, but you're going to be installing third party libraries later on, and it's always a good idea to separate out your environments. So once that's been created, go ahead and activate it. And inside a new Python file, which I've called pickling.py, you can go ahead and import pickle. If you've used the JSON module, pickle should feel somewhat familiar with its four key methods. There's a pickle.dump, a pickle.dumps, pickle.load, and pickle load s. So as you might imagine, the dump methods will pickle data into a serialized format, and the load methods will convert that serialized format back into the original data type. The ones that end in s will either return or load from a byte string object, while the ones that don't will work with a file type object. So now that this is here, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and go ahead and define a new class which you can call example class. And this class is going to have a number of properties. So say a number, which you can set equal to something like 35. A string can be equal to hey. A list, which can be just one, two, and three. A dictionary, which you can make a bit more complex. So you'll have a first key with a value of a, a second with a value of an integer two, and third, which you can go ahead and make a list. And then finally, go ahead and put in a tuple, which can be something like 22 and 23. So you can see this class here is made up of properties of all sorts of different data types. Now that you've defined that, you can make an instance of that. So say my object, and this will just be example class like so. And then if you want to pickle this, go ahead and make a new variable called my pickled object and set this equal to pickle dot dump. And you'll want to do the string version of this. So dump s and then pass in my object. OK, if you want to take a look at what that looks like, you can print it out. So do some f string formatting and you'll say this is my pickled object then pass in a new line, and then you can put in my pickled object, and then another new line like so. Okay, so now that my pickled object contains the serialized version of your class, go ahead and change it. So you can say something like my object, and then if you access the dictionary property, go ahead and set that equal to none. So this would be changing the actual object instance here, so if the pickled object is a true copy, this shouldn't be changed. To test this out, go ahead and make a new variable and call this my unpickled object. And this will equal pickle. And then you'll load from a string and pass in my pickled object. And if you want to see this, you can go ahead and print it out like before. So I'm going to do this over a couple lines, more f string formatting. And then because we're only interested in the addict property of the unpickled object, you can go ahead and then just pass in my unpickled object like so. OK, so before we run this, let's go ahead and take a look. So you defined a class here, which has a number of properties that are all sorts of different Python data types. You then made an instance of this object and pickled it while saving the byte string as this variable. You then change the original object to make one of the properties equal to none. And then you unpickled the byte string and take a look at that object's property. So let's go ahead, take a look and try this out. So right away, I can see a small issue. We actually only wanted to see the a dict property. So where you said my unpickled object, just go ahead and access the a dict property like so. Well, let's go ahead, save that and try to rerun it. OK. So looking at the terminal here and starting from down here, you can see that the pickled object is this byte string and is definitely not human readable. 
you can see you have this example class here, but you can't really read anything else here. But then when you unpickled it, you could see that the a dict was maintained. So first a, second two, and third of the list are still present there. Which matches what's up here. So this is a small example, and everything's pretty static here, but you can see that using pickle, you can create this byte string object, which you can then save and then reload at a later time to maintain the state of that object when you pickled it. All right, in the next lesson, you're going to see some different protocol formats of the Python pickle module as it's changed over time.